Hi, and welcome to another episode of Emerald Isle Vacation Home Specialist. I am your host, Dennis Richkovsky. Some of you recognize me as the co-owner of Flip Flops Donuts, and some of you know me as your broker of real estate who specializes in waterfront and water view properties along the Crystal Coast, especially on Bogue Banks and in my town of Emerald Isle, North Carolina. On this channel, you will find essential information from the inside scoops on buying and selling houses to how to live with the ocean, rivers, and sounds that define the Crystal Coast. Today's episode explores the merits of bringing your pooch along on your Emerald Isle vacation. Whether you visit here occasionally or live here full time, getting to know what you can do with your dog while on vacation in Emerald Isle is a story worth telling. Before I begin, please subscribe to my video channel now or at the end of this episode. When you go on vacation to many resorts and destinations and you have a dog, chances are your first thought may turn to hiring a pet sitter. And while enlisting a pet sitter is a good option, so is connecting with like-minded pet lovers who will care for your dog in exchange for a place to stay. A dog kennel is another possibility, as is enlisting a family, friend, or neighbor to check in on your pooch on a regular basis. However, if you are planning a beach vacation to Emerald Isle, chances are good that you can bring your dog along. Let's dig into the dog gone details. For starters, there are over 100 pet-friendly vacation rentals in Emerald Isle. Second, dogs are allowed on Emerald Isle beaches. According to the town of Emerald Isle's latest beach regulations, dogs are permitted on the beach so long as they are kept on a leash. Yes, your dog must remain on a leash the entire time while on Emerald Isle beaches. It's the law. If your dog is predisposed to running or chasing a ball on the beach, your best bet is to use a retractable leash. EI regulations also require dog owners to collect and remove all dog excrement from the beach strand. Since there are trash can containers located at every public beach access, you are only a couple hundred feet from a doo-doo dump site. My tip, keep your dog on one of the several retractable leash options with built-in waste bag dispensers that are available on amazon.com. The beaches are not the only dog-friendly options in Emerald Isle. Other options include several walking trails, a dog-friendly pet and coffee shop, and nearby dog parks. The Emerald Isle Woods Park is the paw furked place to enjoy quality time with your pooch and discover another side of Emerald Isle, the sound side. You'll find the entrance to this 41 acre site directly off Coast Guard Road at the west end of town, where a puptastic view of Bogue Sound awaits. The park has four wooded trails of various lengths. Pressed for time? Follow the shortest trail for about a quarter mile. Have an hour or so to daydream. Walk all four trails that encompass a couple of miles in total. Whatever your preference, thanks to numerous pine, cedar, and live oak trees that provide cover from the sun, the trails make for a pleasant hike even on a hot summer day. The three trails to the left as you enter the park are the more challenging. And on these paths, you and Fido will encounter sandy dunes, hills and dales, and numerous exposed routes. Challenges to be sure, but nothing that sturdy footwear and a healthy doggo can't handle. A fourth trail on the right as you enter the park is flat with fewer exposed roots. Disc golf is another activity that you can enjoy with your pupper in the Emerald Woods. 
The park features a nine hole course with the first tee located right next to the main parking lot. In addition to the hiking trails and golf course, there is a boardwalk that leads to a dock on the sound where you can rent a kayak and explore the channel with your best friend. If your pup would rather stay on land, the dock is also a fantastic spot for watching birds and sunsets. So don't leave your camera at home. Also, remember to bring insect repellent, doggy waste bags, and enough water for both you and your pooch. You may want to pack some snacks to munch on at the picnic pavilion, where you will also find restrooms. Whether you go to the park, however, be sure to keep your canine companion on a maximum six foot leash at all times. After all, it's the law. Closer in town, near my flip-flops donut shop on Live Oak Street, the McLean Spell Park is another option for getting outdoors with your canine companion. This is a roughly 30 acre property, fully undeveloped with a substantial tree canopy to provide shade for both dog and dog owner. A network of broad paths span the depth and width of the park, which can be accessed from both Sound Drive and Emerald Drive. Limited parking is available at both entrances. As with the Emerald Woods Park, remember to bring insect repellent, doggy waste bags, and enough water for both you and your pooch. There are no restroom facilities. And wherever you go in the park, be sure to keep your canine companion on a six foot leash at all times. It's the law. After your walk with your dog, drive on over to Muddigan's, a pet friendly coffee shop and pet supply store located on Emerald Drive between Bogue Inlet Pier and East View Drives. Here you can sip a cup of coffee, a smoothie or a frap on porch swings or rockers on a covered porch while your furry family member enjoys snacking on a bully stick. At the moment, if you are looking for a dog park, you will have to leave Emerald Isle. A resident only dog park, Canine Veterans Memorial Park is located in near Pine Knoll, nearby Pine Knoll Shores. There are two separate fenced areas, one for small dogs and one for large as well as a water source and bowls. Canine Veterans Memorial Park is located behind Pine Knoll Shores Town Hall. Dog owners must clean up after their pet during their visit. For information on membership and the gate code, call Pine Knoll Shores Town Hall and dial extension 10 for general questions. Off Island, there are several dog parks in nearby Moorhead City. One is located at 5042 Maddie Street, operated by Paws of Carteret. The Paws Bark Park has a double gated key card entry. Key cards are available at the Adoption Center during normal business hours. Among the rules, all dogs must be spayed or neutered to join, and there are no exceptions. Dog owners or handlers are responsible for the actions and behaviors of their dogs at all times. All dogs, however small or large, must be leashed when entering and leaving the park. All dogs must have current rabies and all other vaccinations as required by the town of Moorhead City and must be healthy and free of contagious disease and parasites. Dog owners or handlers must carry a copy of their dog's rabies vaccination and dogs must wear current license and rabies tags in the park. The Paws Bark Park has large and small dog areas, parking, restrooms, seating, shade structures, waste stations, and a water fountain. The Moorhead City Parks and Recreation Department also has opened up a 10,000 square foot dog park inside Rotary Park, located at 2200 Mayberry Loop Road. 
This dog park is divided into two sections, a large dog section for dogs weighing more than 25 pounds and a small dog section for dogs weighing less than 25 pounds. The park has a water pump and other small amenities. Dogs that are sick or aggressive are not allowed, nor are females in heat or dogs too young to vaccinate. Proof of a current rabies vaccination and license is required upon request of a police officer or animal control officer. Dogs must be leashed until safely inside the park and before exiting the park. No dogs without owners and no owners without dogs. Children under 16 must be supervised by an adult at all times. There are also ongoing discussions of a dog park possibly being built in Emerald Isle. Although Emerald Isle commissioners and an overwhelming majority of more than 1,200 residents are on record as opposing clearing land in the McLean Spell Park for a dog park, a long-discussed dog park may eventually be constructed there. According to town manager Matt Zapp, a dog park could be built within the tree canopy of McLean Spell Park, utilizing the existing topography and providing shade for both pets and pet owners. Zapp said Summit Engineering and Design of Hillsborough, the company the town has hired to develop a master plan for the park, will create three concept drawings for limited development of this park, including signage, enhancement of the trails with benches, picnic areas, and dog park placement park options. Commissioners signed off on all of these amenities except for the dog park, which engendered pushback. And if these, and it is these same commissioners who will ultimately make a decision on Summit's recommendations. To learn more about the possibility of a dog park in Emerald Isle, subscribe to my newsletter by texting your email address to 919-308-2292 or sign up for my blog on my website, www.eihomesforsale.com and subscribe to Emerald Isle Vacation Home Specialist on YouTube at the end of this video. So stay well and stay safe. So, and come on down. Please subscribe to my channel below and definitely return next week to the same bat channel at the same bat time of 9 a.m. on Thursday for another episode of Emerald Isle Vacation Home Specialist.